Hi, I'm Ethan and I love muzzleloading. Today, I wanna to talk to you about Blackhorn 209. This video is being recorded on July 17th, 2022. So if you're watching it in 2023, it's really not relevant anymore, sorry. I'm happy to report that Blackhorn 209 is available. It's on store shelves. And if you can't find it in store, Hodgson is opening up a limited number of Blackhorn 209 jugs for you to purchase and have shipped to your door. Now, I will say you're gonna notice a couple things when ordering it online directly from Hodgson. First, the price is gonna be a little bit more than you've paid in the last few years if you've purchased from a retailer. Hodgson is charging upwards of 50 bucks per jug of Blackhorn 209, and then you're gonna get bit by that hazmat fee, which Hodgson does not get. That's a shipping company and state law or federal law requirement on that hazmat fee. So buying two jugs of Blackhorn 209 is gonna get you up over 100 bucks, which is gonna sting. But if you need it and cannot find it, I think it is nice that Hajin is allowing that. You know, they're making that possible for those of us that can't find it in store. It's still gonna sting a little bit for you though. I was happy to see reports earlier this week that Blackhorn was showing up in Walmart stores here in the Midwest. I live in Northern Indiana and I was able to go on to brickseek.com type in the code for Blackhorn like I showed you in my how to find Blackhorn video. It told me that my local Walmart had four jugs in stock and when I went there it did have four jugs in stock. So that is an accurate way to find it now that Blackhorn is in the distribution pipeline. At Walmart, the price was 36.86, which is the standard price that we're kind of used to over the past few years. That's what it was kind of pre-COVID, thinking about that timeline there. But whether you purchase from Hodgdon or Walmart, you're gonna notice one big change, and that is that the bottles are now eight ounces instead of 10. Hodgdon has not put out any official word about this as to why they have changed from the 10 ounces to the eight ounces. But there are a couple theories out there, the first of which being inflation. I'm not an economist, so I'm not gonna try to explain it to you, but my money and your money is not going as far as it used to. And when we think about the production of powder and primers and everything, everything in shooting sports, I don't care what you're buying, uh, even in muzzle loading, prices are going up and we're getting a little bit less for our money. So folks are theorizing that in an effort to keep the price similar or the same on the shelf for Black Room 209, Hodgson cut out two ounces of the powder to keep it at that same price point of 36.86 so that those hunters that maybe aren't super in tune with muzzle loading, go into Walmart to buy their jug for the year and buy their pack of bullets and then go on their merry way, they might not even notice a difference because of that price difference. And if it had gone up in price, you know, in relation to, uh, to keep it at 10 ounces, uh, they may have noticed that and they may have turned away to another powder. Now, Hodgson owns the other black powder substitutes and produces the other black powder substitutes. So if you're shooting a substitute, Hodgson's gonna get your money anyway, but we still, in those performance muzzleloaders that have become super popular, we still need to see people shooting Blackhorn 209 to get that max efficiency. And that's where we come into kind of the other point other than inflation, and that's demand. Demand for Blackhorn really spiked during the transition from Western powders to Hodgdon powders in 2020 and 2021. Through that demand, we did not see really any production of Blackhorn 209. We had a little bit come out and then that was it. It was not at all enough to, to satisfy the demand of hunters and competitive shooters out there which kind of led us to where we are today in late 2021, and now we're coming into mid to late 2022. Earlier this year, Hodgson said that we'd see Black Rowan 209 on shelves in the mid to late summer. Thankfully, that that is true. We have it here on shelves. You can order it, you can purchase it, but there was some confusion. Folks were reaching out to Hodgson throughout the year, and that production timeline changed. And I think it changed really because of the volatility of production right now. If you're making anything in country and out country, it's a pain in the rear to have anything made because it's hard to get those source materials, those raw materials, it's hard to get things into production and get everything that you need to get something out the door. So that production timeline shifted. It went from mid to late summer or early spring even to mid to late summer, late fall, and then maybe by the end of the year, which had a lot of people kind of up in arms because we have hunting season coming up here. It's huge. People hedge, you know, vacation time, a lot of money on this, you know, depending on how far you're traveling to get their hunts going. They have possibly brand new performance muzzleloaders that they can't use. Thankfully, really thankfully, <laughs> We have Blackhorn available, it's on store shelves, and we're seeing the same thing with the other substitutes that Hodgson produces and distributes. I talked to several of my local distributors and gun shops, and they all received large shipments of 777 and Pyrodex, both in powder and pellet form, 
this past week. They said more than enough to get them through the rest of the year. So that's that's a good outlook. I mean, that's that's something positive right now. I can understand everybody's frustration about getting two less ounces, and because I'm I'm frustrated about it too. I'm working more and more, and you know my money's not going as far. I'm I'm right there with everybody else that's out there. You know, it can be tough, but. If I had to choose between being able to get it and not get it, I would rather get some to have it so that I knew I could go out and shoot and hunt than to not get it and just kind of be bumped. If if this was my only option, you know, a lot of people out there, their only option is a black powder substitute. So if we look at Hodgson trying to satisfy that demand for every four bottles of 10 ounces of black horn that they used to sell, say you're selling that to four different hunters, you're now selling that same 40 ounces of black horn to five customers by cutting it down to eight ounces per bottle. So in theory, if you're not going out and buying five bottles at a time, which because of the shortages of the past few years, I, I don't really blame you. If you go out and shoot a lot of black horn or if you're a competition shooter, you're gonna go through that five bottles like it's nothing. But if you're selling those to a hunter that only goes through a bottle every year, you can satisfy that that set of five hunters for the year, hopefully in time for, I would hope, production to get back up and going. And we can see it return to 10 ounces maybe, Hodgdon maybe, in the next couple years. That's all I really have for you on this. I just wanted to say that Blackhorn is available. I found this bottle and several other bottles that I did not purchase uh, using BrickSeek. It's a free to use Walmart inventory tracker. I made a video about it. You can type in the codes for Blackhorn. I'll have a link in the description down below for you to find those. Uh, you can type those in and it'll tell you within a hundred mile radius of your zip code if they have Blackhorn available and the quantities that I have checked have been very accurate. So that works. If you do not find it in your local area, Hodgson, like I said earlier in the video, is giving the option to pay a little bit more to have it shipped to your door to make sure you can get some for your hunt. It's uh, it's kind of a bummer. We're not seeing a lot of, not a lot of positivity here. But uh, it is good to see it on shelves and it's good to see people able to get out and shoot their muzzleloaders. So hopefully this corrects itself over the next year or so and we can get back to normal, get back to buying 10 ounce jugs or even five pound jugs of Blackhorn and uh, that'd be really nice. So I'm Ethan, I love muzzleloading. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.